Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Microsoft Sentinel playbook that will notify you via email when an incident happens in, my, um, in Microsoft Sentinel. So of course you'll come to the automation, come down, click automation, come click playbook with incident trigger. There are five other things you can click but for today we're just going to click playbook with incident trigger and of course I've got the resource group created already you can create a new one if you want but just to make this video quicker I'm just going to do this incident email incident you can enable um, di um, logs if you want but um, just to make this video quicker that's not what we're going into today I'm just gonna go through straight away and just go to the next <coughs> and continue go to next create continue to designer what this will do is um, enable you to go to logic apps to, to do this logic app designer and then you can do everything here Click new step and wait for it to load as you see I've done this before we're going to click Outlook Office 365 Outlook and then what you want to do is look for send an email let me look send an email v2 that's the one you want I'm going to send it to my email just for here. You can send it to many other emails and and so forth, but just for the subject incident This is for the subject, so I wanted to display the um, alert name. Oh, there it is. Sorry, click that for the body. You will come here, incident description. It's just for it to describe the incident. Importance, I want to put it as high, so and that is it for now. You can obviously put other things if you want, but I'm just going to keep it very simple and quick for this video. You save, let it save, and then what we're going to do next is attach this to an analytics rule. So when it scans and finds that incident, it will it will email you. So let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to go. Go to analytics, and you can use rule templates, and then click one. Click those you want. Go by high low whatever you want to go by but just for the sake of this video i'm just going to pick this one mfa spamming followed by successful login so if you just when this happens mfa spamming followed by successful login that's going to create a, um, an incident um this is a template it's going to create an incident when when this incident happens it's just going to email me right because um, it's high priority, it's going to email me as well. <clears throat> Click edit. This is going to be a very quick video. Click edit, and you can look at the, you can change it, whatever you want to change. But um, you can look at the query here, how it really looks. If you want to edit the query, you can edit the query.
query scheduling if you want it every um, you want a query to run every 10 hours every five minutes if you want if you want to go by minutes if you want to, um, the query to, to go the query to go by days you can do that but just for this video I'm just gonna leave it there run every 10 hours just 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 for this video I'm not gonna edit anything because that was not the, the point I wanted to make and then what you really want to do is go to automated response click automated response click add new incident name raw name I'm just gonna say email incident just to just 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 for this video actions run playbook and then we're gonna look for our playbook which is email incident that's the one we just created and it will email the incident and you can you can change however long you want this this rule to happen but um, yes I want this video under 10 minutes so I will not do that click apply review and create really save because it's already created and then you'll see it here but you see it's disabled you can come here enable it click enable and anytime MA face spamming happens and then there's a successful login you will get um, I will get an email of this incident that this is what's happened so from then on you can respond how you want to respond so it's very effective there's many other things you can you you can attach these you can attach the the playbook to these um you can you can attach it to to most things so it's very effective it's good to know what to do and how to do so i'm going to continue to create many more videos so please subscribe and like and uh, yeah thank you for watching my video um that is it have a good day take care bye